Howdy everybody, Miss Jamie here today. Today we're going to learn about the number four. One, two, three, and four. Four fingers up. It's kind of like making our B in brown, but it's four fingers up, all up, and put that thumb in. Oh, it gets hard sometimes to stretch it. You can do it anyway, but this way is like the easiest way to do it. And four looks like this on paper. So this one, moms and dads, is hard to see the dots for touch point, but there is four points. One, two, three, and four. My printer's been acting up, so this is the best I got, but you can see I kind of tried to outline them. So remember, when you're doing the number four, you can practice with this number, this printout, and you can practice putting items on the circles. One, two, three, and four. Puff balls work really good. Pom-poms work really well. But Miss Jamie's girls have decided to take them all and use them for crafts here at home. So this is the number four. All right, let's get started by practicing again, counting on our hands. You ready? One, two, three, four. All right, good job. And now we're going to practice by patting our head. So everybody get your hands on your head. Here we go. One. Two, three, and four. Good job. And now we're going to tap the table four times. You ready? Get those hands up. One, two, bring them back up. Three, and four. Good job. And we could give four kisses if we want to do one, two, three. Four. So lots of ways you could do four. You can make four however you want. So when you're picking out of the bucket this week, remember to have lots of different items. But make sure you have more than four. At least have five in there, okay? And you can make a sheet like this so they have plenty of room to put the items. And you remember, guys, we're going to pick different things out of here. Ready? One. Two, Ooh, three, and four. Can't see it. There you go. And then we're going to take our pointer finger, get that pointer finger ready, and we're going to practice counting again. One, two, three, and four. Four things on my paper. Now I get to count again and put them back. Lots of counting going on. One, two, three, and four. It's a great math identification, great fine motor picking and putting down with the pointer. Lots of good stuff going on. You can also hide these items around the house, this bucket, and move it around so they have to walk around and go get them. Yeah, even better. Okay. You could take, this is another good fine motor one. You could take clothespins, put them on something a little sturdy, and have them pinch and up. Pinch and up. And you could have a bucket next to them, another bucket where they have to put them in. Pinch and up, and pinch and up. And then you could have, I got those freezable ice cubes you could put it in there those are nice and small and they could reach in and grab them one two three and four okay you could look for in books for groups of four this one actually happens to be a counting book so you could look through here if it wants to open and you could say oh one elephant is that the number four no. Two cherries. Is that the number four? No. One, two, three balloons. Is that the number four? No. One, two, three, four cupcakes. Is that the number four? Yes, we found it. So we can look for things in groups of four on there. You can present them with different items. We'll use these for now. You can have 
have the different items here. I have one, two, three, four ice cubes. And I have one, two clothespins, and one marker. Which one has four items in it? This one does. And have them reach for it. They don't have to grab it up. Just reach and touch for it. There is four. You can do four again like we did with the letters. You can practice making four in here. Down, across, and down. Four. Get your finger down there. You can do it in sand and Play-Doh. You could roll the Play-Doh up and make a four out of the Play-Doh. You could do it in the Cool Whip, salt, shaving green, but I wouldn't suggest that one, especially if they like to put it in a rock doesn't taste so good but. but you can also go on a bear hunt and find four items on the bear hunt you could hide um, different stuffed animals maybe four stuffed animals around the house if you have them or four things that your child really likes to play with hide those around and go on a bear hunt and count four of them and you know have a bucket or something close by so they could put it in so there is four for the week the number four one two three four Four fingers up. One more time. It looks like this. Four. So we will see you later. Show me all the fun ways you do things with number four. What you find in number four. Maybe you'll go outside and find four flowers. Or maybe you'll go outside and you'll see four birds. Okay. So have fun. We'll see you later.